Hi, this is Mike from BandLab, and in this video, we're going to make a Jersey club beat in BandLab's free online DAW. You can open this project yourself with the link in the video description. And if you find this guide useful, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to know when new videos drop. I start by setting the project tempo to a speedy 140 beats per minute. Jersey club music is predominantly sample based. So I'm going to begin with a sample from BandLab Sounds. I open BandLab Sounds and enter R&B into the text search field. I open R&B Essentials and set the instrument filter to keyboard. I like the sound of Riff Piano 07. So I drag it into the project. BandLab will ask me if I want to set the project key to that of the sample. I do, so I select Set, and the project key is set to G-sharp minor. I set this track to minus 12.3 dB to give me headroom to add other elements. Now I want to make a kick drum rhythm. In BandLab Sounds, I select the One Shots tab and enter Kick into the text search field. Kick 504 is the sort of sound I want, so I create a new sampler track and drag it onto the first sample pad. I want to make sure that kick plays tightly, so I move the sample start marker directly onto the start of the kick sample. I set this track to minus 13.3 dB. I sequence a rhythm that plays on the first three beats of the bar, then on the 16th before the fourth beat, then on the last eighth note of the bar. I duplicate this out for the rest of the four bar clip. To duplicate notes or clips in BandLab, Hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows and drag them over. I'd like to make this kick sound a bit rougher, so I open up the Effects tab and add a Distortion BL Driver effect. I set the Drive to 0.8 and the Tone to 16 kHz. Next, I'm going to layer this main kick with the bassy 808 kick to give it more low end sub. In BandLab Sounds, I search for 808. 808 better spins sounds about right. So I create another sampler track and drag it onto the first sample pad. I set this track to minus 11.9 dB. I duplicate the MIDI part from the kick drum track over. To me, it sounds like the 808 could do with being transposed, so I set its pitch control to minus 5 semitones. I'd also like a clap sound. In BandLab Sounds, I search for clap. Clap Nunchucks has an interesting character. So I create a sampler track and drag it onto the first pad. I set this track to minus 11.1 dB. I sequence this sound on the second and fourth beat of each bar. I'd also like some breakbeat flavor to underpin these beats. In BandLab Sounds, I select the Packs tab and search for Jungle. I open the 90s Jungle Pack and set the instrument filter to Drum. I drag J160 Break Think 8 bar into the project. I turn this track down to minus 4.2 dB. I only want to use the first part of this loop, so I use the handle at the bottom right hand corner of the clip to truncate it to a half a bar in length. I then use the loop handle at the top right hand corner of the clip to loop it out for the 4 bar sequence. Now I'd like to add some vocals. In BandLab Sounds I select the Loops tab and set the instrument filter to Voice and the genre filter to Pop slash R&B. 
VC Thunder 01 C sharp minor 1 bar 120. Sounds like it might be a good fit. So I drag this into the project. I use the loop handle at the top right hand corner of the clip to loop it out for the 4 bar sequence. I turn this track down to minus 13 dB. Next I'd like to add some chant vocals. In Bandlab Sounds, I changed the genre filter to Hip Hop slash Trap. NOLA Bounce Voice 06 has a shout at the start that I'd like to use. Hey, 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 hey. I drag it into the project. I set this track to minus 5.2 dB. I truncate the clip to just this part, then move it between the first and second beats, and duplicate it out for the 4 bar sequence. I'd like to add one more vocal. I think NOLA Bounce Voice 05 would fit. I drag this into the project and set the track to minus 4.5 dB. Before I arrange the track, I'd like to add some transition effects. I clear the instrument and genre filters in BandLab Sounds and enter riser into the text search field. Trap Volume 1 Riser 01 is the sort of sound I'm after, so I position this at the end of the 4 bar sequence. I set this track to minus 1.9 dB. I'd also like a fill sound effect. I enter fill into the text search field and drag Trap Essentials Fills 03 into the project. I place this at the end of the 4 bar sequence. For the arrangement, I begin with the piano playing solo. Then the main kick comes in. The kick is then layered with the bassy 808 kick and the chant vocal. The clap is added next. Then the breakbeat and processed vocal come in. The processed vocal is then swapped out for the chopped up vocal. The processed vocal is then brought back in. Then we have a breakdown of sorts where the piano and 808 drop out. Then the 808 comes back in and we lose the processed vocal. At bar 41, all the vocals in the breakbeat drop out. The piano comes back in. The track is now quite paired back. And it's time to bring the elements back in, starting with the breakbeat. Then the chant vocal returns. The piano is swapped out for the chopped up vocal. Then the chopped up vocal is swapped out for the processed vocal. The piano comes back in. For the final section, the processed vocal and break drop out and are replaced with the chopped up vocal. 
You can fork this project and make your own version of it using the link in the video description. Have fun!